Oh, hello. So, a couple of items just arrived. Quite excited. Um, we surprise here what this is. Uh, Bobby just decided to get himself uh, one of those Alice packs. Um, it's the old um, packs he used to use in the US military. Uh, but since the 70s, and they still use them slightly today. Um, you're used quite widely in Vietnam. And I think they come in large, medium, and uh, small. An Alice pack, um, it stands for all purpose, lightweight, individual, carrying equipment. And uh, seems like quite a good bit of kit. You'll see now I usually carry the British Forces uh, Bergen, which is quite good. But I thought I'd give this a go. I've heard a lot of reviews on it, and people, the preppers, use them a lot. Um, so it might be a good option. I mightn't be able to fit as much kit in it. But I'm thinking that possibly I may, because there's a lot of good pouches on it comes with a metal frame. There's a bit of wear and tear to this one. Um, these straps aren't as good as the Bergen maybe. They're metal. I was a bit concerned about this one here. Um, I thought it was damaged but if you push it in it stops moving. Um, because earlier it was just moving. But they basically just uh, clip like that and you can pull them up. is not as good as the Bergen I don't think really. That one's in good condition there. Yeah, it'll be hard to get an authentic one, um, it is military American issue. Um, in the UK, there's a lot of reproductions, but I thought it was better getting the real thing. So the metal frame should be good, it should get a good bit of support. Um, carrying equipment. And I've got, it comes in like a sort of a top flap here, um, which I'm still trying to work out how to use because I'm used to the British. Military bargain. So you pull that to the side. Um, quite a bit of room inside there. And obviously you, you can pull the drawstring. I'm still going to use my uh, bergen liner to waterproof it. Proof it. Um, there's another excess compartment here. I might put my shovel in there. But it might be a bit too close to the back. But maybe warm kit can go in there. So separate from my Bergen, the rest of Bergen, or Alice Park now, um, or I can maybe put my poncho or tarp in here, because if it's wet it'll keep it away from the rest of my stuff, but that seems quite good that way, um, so it'll take a while to get used to this system here, you have to pull these down and lash it down, but these are quite long, so you could fit a roll mat in here, or even a sleeping bag. Um, that's Velcro there, so you can open that up. There's a bit of wear and tear, that's not going to be waterproof, so people are sending out maps. I wouldn't even put a map in there, I always want to keep the map on me. But you could still fit maybe a waterproof jacket in there, because the jacket's already waterproof, and you're going to take it out when it rains, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so moving on to the other pouches that we've got here. There's a... Uh, Three, yeah, three magazine pouches. So they'll be handy for fitting odds and ends in. Um, and then you've got three sort of large utility pouches. So I'm thinking I'll fit my water bottles in them. And then maybe a poncho to keep it separate from the rest of the, the Bergen or Alice pack. So uh, I'm going to work with it and see what I, what I can do with it. Um, Unfortunately, there's these side bits, and I thought I would be able to fit my axe in them, but they're slightly too small, but maybe get them tailored uh, to fit it. Um, and you could molly, molly pouches onto that as well, which is quite good, and that would be good if you could put a bungee in that. I could maybe put a roll mat on it. But the good thing about the metal frame is, I've seen a lot of people doing it, is you can attach stuff to it easier, um, and I should be able to fit, you could even fit a sleeping bag to the bottom of it, put it in a waterproof canoe sack and bungee it on and that might be a good option, it'll give me more room and then maybe put the roll on the side but I'm going to work with it and see see what I can do um, it's a good waist strap here that'll give some good support so I'll be quite happy with that but there is a good bit of wear and turn on as you've seen with the, the top there it's pretty bad but it is what it is, I'll, I'll see what I can do with it um, and it's worth a try, you know, trying new things and seeing how good they are. 
I'll do a review when I go out with it. Um, I'm going to be going out tomorrow night with Mikey. Um, and I, I don't know if I'll have time to get it packed because uh, it will be. I'm quite a rush to get out. I've got my not really bargain packed as always. You know, always ready to go. Um, so I'll give that a go. But one item I will be trying is this here. But hopefully we got the post office. It's going to need a correct bit of equipment. What is it? And I'm hoping to know it's so exciting. Yeah, you give me the right parcel. So if you guess what it is yet, the new sleeping bag you got. Then the wrapper. So it's a snug pack softy uh, elite four. Um reason I got a new one is uh the sleeping bag zip broke. Um, I had a softy chrysalis, I think it is. I think it might have been a three. So you're having to use other stuff to keep you warm. But now I've just got this and this goes down to minus 15 and it's got a comfort uh, rating of uh, minus 10. So in UK temperatures, this will keep me warm. Uh, with a bivy bag over it, that's going to add a, an extra five degrees of, of heat. Um, and if I've got my um, jacket, a barber jacket that I showed you me reaction to in the Thumberland, put that over the top, I'll be roasting and then obviously I've got my sleep kit, I've got my lamb as well um, and I've got my um, long johns and arctic socks and my balaclava uh, keep my face warm. But the thing is uh, with this now I probably won't need to wear a lot at all, you know, it'll, it'll keep me warm. comes with a compression sack as well but I'll probably use the one I've got. Um, so this should compress down quite well as well and it's not too big for the um, size of it you know I'll well, get it open here so yeah seems like quite good quality uh, with all snug packs you know the British military one is good uh, the Arctic one uh, the standard British military issue but it's just too big um, but that will go down to like minus 30, the British military one. And uh, they say that this is not a issue, not that I know of. Maybe lads bad themselves, but um, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's just not the style. But yes, it feels really good material. Um, it's got that zip system where you can get two zips. Uh, so make the bag bigger. Yeah, see there, it's got two zips. So that can either be making the bag bigger or taking it in and making it smaller. It's got the clips there at the bottom that you can clip it up um, for people that are um, a bit smaller to, to bought heat in. Um, no, it feels like really good material. Um, I'll have to have a wee play with it. Three pouch here. I'm sure. No, no, I know there is a pouch in it, so I'll have to have a wee play with it. When I'm out. But this will be coming out with me. Uh, the whole wool blanket thing I don't think is going to work to sleep in the lot, maybe in summer, but it's good to have, I suppose. It's two ships. It's reinforced at the bottom. I think that's more of a military thing for if you're wearing boots in your um, in your sleeping bag for tactical reasons. So that's good for any preppers that want to sleep in their boots. So they can bug out faster. Personally, I don't really like to do that because your feet's going to be wrecked sleeping in boots all the time unless you really have to another thing I use is Gore-Tex socks uh, so my feet do get wet I can just whack the Gore-Tex socks on and that will dry my boots out quite a bit and you can wear them in your bed if you are in a sort of place where you need to get out of there quickly um, but yeah I'm pretty impressed with that it should keep you quite warm 
but also pack down quite well so it's a better option than the military issue sleeping bag so hopefully that will compress down quite well I'll try the compression sacks here it's like so like it's in green um, and if not I'll go with the old one because it is waterproof as well so yeah that's the two bits of kit I'm quite excited to get using them um, I'll probably give you a wee run down on what they're like once they're used but yeah they should be pretty good um, I think the Alice pack I ended up paying 60 quid for it I actually didn't mean to pay that much um, it was all the eBay just kept getting outbidded and I put it up to 60 before I went to bed and obviously somebody kept bidding to 60 for me just so cheers for that um, the snug pack was about 70 uh, 76 pounds you can probably get it cheaper um, but you're better buying a more expensive bag than wasting money buying loads of bags I think it might cost me about 80 with express delivery but I wanted to get it as soon as possible so yeah about 76 pounds, 75 you you're going to get it for um, I think that my chrysalids was about 50 um, it was alright but you know, you better spend the money and get a decent one because I mean I could pro I can probably get that all repaired the zip repaired on it and I'll probably use it for a summer bag but coming into winter now you know, you can survive no bother and you know, it would be fine with the other one but for comfort which is quite important when I'm out there that's what you want, you know, something to keep you comfortable and warm but yeah just be thoughts for you, if you're planning on getting a new sleeping bag and a low carrying system I think I'll always will stick with the British military uh, Bergen, it's what I'm used to and I think it's good but it's always good just to get a wee change and that can be an option for a medium sized pack maybe you know for um, go up the mountains or something or hiking because uh, I think you could pack that down quite well and you can't fit a lot of equipment in it and I just like those pouches on the outside and I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting the British military Bergen tailored to have pouches on the outside so I can't put my water bottles in because that takes up a lot of room but if I was wearing webbing I would save a lot of room in my British military pack because um, obviously all the water bottles would be in there and I could even put my shovel in there but I'm just going to have to work with it and see where I'm going to put everything um, and hopefully I'll get out with that soon but the bag will be coming out tomorrow so yeah can't wait